going to uh, uh, share with uh, my audience, because uh, this is what Fixing My Faith is about. It's about sharing the journey and uh, uh, to hopefully help others in their journeys uh, as they leave the Jehovah's Witness and, and perhaps some of you out there that are ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. So what, where I'm at, uh, 60 days ago when I uh, started, I was very angry. And it's funny, when you wake up, <laughs> you get angry. When you, when you discover that you've been lied to all your life, and for me it was 30 years of being lied to, and then you carry the lies around, you get angry, you know, with anything. If someone's lied to you, lied to you, and lied to you, and then one day you find, the tr find out the truth, you're angry. That's just how we work. It seems like that's how we work. And then we're we want revenge. We want to get them back. And we want people to hear our story. And that's how we feel. That's how I felt. So then I uh, wanted to channel my anger and um, make laughter. Uh, I did a lot of poetry. And, and prior to this, I wrote stories, to fictional stories. I buried myself in just writing kind of fantasy fictional but based on real life is it was good I, i'm sharing some of that online but what you see online here is this um rcmp thing i did 60, uh, 60 days ago and it's just where you file your complaint with the rcmp and so you have 60 days to do a review if you want a formal notification and you want to talk to them about it so, because they know that, and, and I was reading in their stuff, they get like 2,000 complaints a day here in Alberta. So, uh, they realize that people get angry when, when, they, when something happens, and then they, they, they want revenge. So, you have to, uh, especially with COVID, now you have to go online and you've got to file, file your complaint. And then you got 60 days. So they want to kind of see you settle down for 60 days. And then you, you request a review if you still feel that you're, that you can't resolve this inside. So I got thinking about this and, uh, you know, I had 20, you, it's like this, you have, you, you have 22 good days and then one day you wake up and you feel angry and you don't know why you're angry. And I couldn't figure out why am I feeling well. It's because I I did this uh, review, and I I know I have to 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 deal with it. So it's this morning I, I decided you know I have this heavy heavy mood over top, and my wife of course picks up on it right away because she's very smart, and uh, she says uh, she helps we talk and we chit chat about this, and uh, um you know here's here's where I'm at. Uh, I can live in the past, present, or future. So I'm choosing not to live in the past. And it, when I really look at my situation, my case, it wasn't, you know, what did they, they, they demonized me. Big deal. You know, uh, there's a lot worse things done. So they demon, they, they, they offended me. That's what they did. And maybe robbed me of my, uh, association, robbed me of my everything, but, but there's a lot worse things. It's just, this is my own ego that's affected. And uh, do I want to live in the past? Because you, you remember what Jesus says. He says, you reap what you sow. And if I'm reap, sowing, um, digging up the past, I'm going to reap stuff like that. I'm going to reap this. I'm going to be living. I don't want to do that. I want to live in the future. I think we have a magnificent future. So I'm, I'm closing this file like it's done. I'm not going to do this. And here's where I'm at. And as we've been doing this channel, I've been using this Bible tool. <laughs> and it's, you know, we, we've been taught this in the JW world too. But vengeance, Romans 12 and 19. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written. Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. So it's, uh, that's where I'm at. So I'm closing it. So done. And uh, that's, that's history because it's, uh, it's not my battle. I, I was truthfully in my heart serving God to the best of my ability for all those years in the religion. And um, I'm offended to what was said to me uh, after it and continually, whatever. But it's not my battle. This is, this is God's. 
This is this is a, a religion that's claiming to have the truth. And this is not my battle. So I'm leaving it up to God. It's uh, it, And it's easier. Now I don't have to live in the past. Now I can focus on keep repairing and not having these dark moods, uh, not having this thing in my mind that I have this file with the RCM. Like it's a, it's a frivolous file. There's a lot more serious things going on out there than my situation. So, so my best thing is just to share this as I'm moving on. I'm only two months in to really being woken up. After I wrote my book, I woke up and realized and you have to be able to admit that you're in a cult to wake up i couldn't do that until two months ago so i'm brand new and uh so that's what i have to share with you guys today so thanks for being my audience and uh i hope you continue and if you have, if you're not press subscribe and uh, take a look at some of my stuff i'm just going to keep sharing my journey that's all so, until next time you like it.